It's actually out of Tuscany, Alberta, Canada, which is what? near Calgary. And And it's a uh, looks like it outside. 90 degrees is still getting hotter. Well, it's almost five o'clock, so time to go pick up the kid from school. Police well, sounds like a really busy day on the police scanner today. It being uh, is it Monday? Today's Monday. Yeah, today's Monday. Oh, it's Tuesday for some reason. Um, a lot of, a lot of police traffic. Uh, interesting uh, little thing about a teacher in uh, Columbus uh, having an inappropriate uh, relationship with a student. Uh, and it's a female teacher again. It's about the third one in the last couple of years. So we'll see how that turns out. And you never know. Here it goes. At 98%, I'm afraid that I'll never be able to get to see it. I'm trying to find something right now. This is about the 10, 10 cities of 10, 10 cities, including Kansas, that they had this, this uh, what do you call it, sickness with asthma. Well, Blake's been getting a lot more braver, but I don't know if you can tell back here with the light or anything, but you can see paw prints all over the back windshield here, which means there will probably be paw prints yep, right up here too, and on top of the vehicle here and there were definitely some paw prints earlier today but uh turn of the wipers there so Mike's been getting a really really uh, aggressive outside uh, he even broke this he even broke this the other day uh, I'm guessing he was jumping up and down on it cracked it and split it so it's a good thing I got an extra one of those he caught his first mouse. He caught his first mouse the other night. Uh, kind of deposited the other part of it uh, right over there around the sidewalk. So I had to take care of it over there. But Jim was like, what the hell is that? I said, well, that's probably one of Blake's first mice he caught. And then, <coughs> up. So, thumbs up for Blake. Begin to be a real kitty cat.
himself over here. Aren't you supposed to walk with mom? Uh, huh? That was Connie and their daughter Alyssa. Okay. Alexis. Jeffrey, aren't you supposed to walk walk with mom? You're supposed to walk walk with mom and hold, hold mom's hand, okay? That's Alexis. Okay. Is something wrong? No, he, he likes the other way uh -huh. to go. I just walked that way for a different reason. Okay. But that's her daughter Alexis, who's six years old. Where's your backpack? I got it. You got it? Okay. Jeffrey, Jeffrey, did you show mom the flowers? Look, flowers? There's, there's some flowers that, down there. Bye to Blake mm -hmm. in the flowers. And what about these over here? You got to be careful with those. And the red ones have thorns on them. They have always. R rose bushes always have thorns. All right. Do you have any homework for tonight? Yes. Yeah. Are you going to do? You going to do, 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 do your homework tonight? Yeah. Okay. Addition. Okay. Addition. Okay. Good. We'll see. And I still have yet to finish up the rest of this backyard here. I got most of this mowed up over here, but there's still a few pears here and there that we need to pick up and get that cut. But it's getting a little bit, a little bit too long. But it looks a lot better back here. Now we just have to work on that back porch. Is actually out of Tuscany, Alberta, Canada, which is near Calgary. And yet again, another strong cold front is going to break free. Now... Well, I'm happy to report that the backyard is completely mowed. Everything except for a few of weeds along the back fence. It only took a few days. I don't know if that's an airplane or what. Even. Bunch of freaking junk food, you ask me. But uh, tonight's another super moon, and it looks pretty, pretty big. Let me stop right here, get it in the mirror. You guys see it back there? It's pretty big. Okay, it's bigger in the mirror than it does on the camera. We'll have to drag out the telescope tonight, hopefully. It's probably gonna look a little greenish after I'm done. So, oh, here we are, about halfway through. Taking a quick break, because, uh, but uh, as you can tell over here, grass is pretty darn long over here. Like I said, it's been about a month, month and a half, so we cut it, and it's really growing up against that fence over there again too. So that's gonna get chopped down either tonight or tomorrow. I'm gonna get as much of this backyard done tonight as I can. And that pear tree there, I think it's done dropping almost everything. I mean, there's a ton. I mean, almost literally a 